Hi guys. Uh, so, it's happening. I'm about to go clean my craft room. Um, if you have been following my channel for a while, you'll see that I have a craft room tour, which actually is my most popular video. And it, like I just moved down into my craft room from upstairs. I have my craft room down here. It was all nice and organized. I didn't just move down, but it was like pretty new and you know, whatever. And then I kind of sort of got like, I got sick from my resin. Oh my God, there's a bunny outside. Wonder if you guys will be able to see that through my dirty window. Can you see him? Probably not. He's right there. No, my camera doesn't zoom and my window is dirty because it's like the basement window. Like it's dirty on the outside. Oh, you saw his ears for a second there. Anyway, I had an allergic reaction to resin in October. I was preparing for a resin, um, like kind of like a crap, not a resin, sorry, a craft show. And I was trying to make some last minute pieces and I was cramming literally like getting it all done like at last second. So um, I had my, um, I had my dehydrator going and I had my crock pot going and I was like curing a whole bunch of resin using a heat source in a closed room because again it was October there was snow on the ground I had all my windows closed so I was like in my craft room with all the windows closed in a non-ventilated area with toxic fumes surrounding me for like 10 hours straight I literally kept leaving my craft room and throwing up and then going back into my craft room. I was so sick and nauseous. And then after that, I couldn't breathe. After uh, about a week, I noticed I couldn't breathe at all. I couldn't take a full breath in. I had a lung infection. Um, I, of course, had allergic reactions on my hands. Even I, That's always happened. Even if I wear gloves, sometimes it'll still... Even if I wear double gloves, it'll get on my hands. Long story short, I haven't really crafted since then. And so, literally, I just, like, open my craft room every once in a while and, like, throw stuff in there. Like, stuff that I've... Because sometimes I'm so, I'm so bad. I still, like, shop for craft stuff, even though I don't use it. Like, I'll be, like, out and be like, oh, that would be so cute for resin. And I'll pick it up, even though I haven't done resin in, like, almost a year. Um, so, I'll, like, go in my craft room, throw it in there, and, like, leave. Or if we have something that's, like, in the way and it's like, oh, just throw it in the craft room, like, to store it. Like... So it is a mess. So I'm about to go clean it. Um, I just walked in there for a second um, just so that I could put my stuff down in there. But I'm going to go, I'm going to show you like the raw, the raw footage of my craft room. Are you ready? Oh my God. Here it is in all its glory. To make sure none of my cats. So. This was my paint tray. Now it's like just storing random stuff. Oh look. And then I've got like some more storage containers that are just sitting. I've got like drawers open, my chair is full. This is all disorganized. When I run down here and I like need like scissors or like tape, I just rummage through my craft desk and grab it and then don't put anything back. My garbage can's not in the right area. All these drawers are open. Thing is, things are all shoved <laughs> on my craft desk. I've got more crap on the floor. This is all from my show. I didn't put it all back. More garbage. This is all Terry's desk. Those cans are, he's saving those cans and just doesn't leave pop cans all over. He wants to save them because they're collectibles. Um, that's Terry's desk. But yeah, this is my craft room. It's a disaster. It's a complete disaster. And sometimes I get the random urge to craft and then I'm like, I walk down here and look around and I'm like, no. And I'll walk back out. I'm just like, so if I can get this room cleaned, then 
maybe I can craft a little bit. Maybe not resin, maybe clay or something. I just need to get it done. I miss being in here, I really do. So I have my tea ready to go, my water, I've got a garbage bag, I have my phone, I have my speakers, I'm gonna hook my iPod up. iPod? Yeah, iPod, duh. I'm gonna hook my iPod up and I'm gonna attempt to clean this room. In a perfect world, I would have this room clean and I would be crafting by tonight, but it is 3.30 in the afternoon. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't work tomorrow, so I can stay up late technically, but I have a lot ahead of me. Look at this room, look at this. Oh my God, I'm a hoarder. And literally, yeah, like I keep buying craft supplies. Like look at all this extra glitter I have. Here, I've got one, two, three, four packs of glitter that are not even open. I have bags and bags of craft supplies upstairs that I haven't even touched. Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I'd say four months ago, I came down here to try, like, working on some resin, and I literally just cleared an area on my desk. And, uh, I tried making some resin, but I didn't even finish it. But I did make a couple things I can show you. Um, <laughs> I made this little Tamagotchi. I painted that little 8-bit heart on there. I, I domed it and everything, but I didn't glaze the front, and I haven't put any, like, eye screws in it. And then I worked on this, like, poison apple. And again, I didn't dome the back. I haven't glazed it. I made this, like, zebra heart. Didn't finish it. Um, I made this, like, tile with all these, like, beads on it that shine though and then I made um, a couple like paw print oh they're upside down a couple paw prints here that I haven't finished either like I, I attempted to make some stuff Like, I miss it. Like, I do. I really do. But, you know, also, every time I think about coming down here, I get, like, panicked. Like, I'm... Because I got so sick last time. Like, so sick. Um, I have a mask. Like, I got a respirator to help me breathe. But it is such a pain to, like, have that on your face. And then you're trying to work, like, closely with the resin. And it's, like, in your way. Um... But it's no excuse, that's my health, so I don't know, we'll see. Right now, it's pretty warm out, so I can open the window. Actually, I'll do that right now. Oh, my window's like stuck. Oh, my neighbors are out across the street, and I'm gonna have my music on. They're gonna be like, what the hell is this girl listening to? Um, okay, wish me luck, guys. I'll give you progress reports along the way. I'm still in my PJs. Like, it's 3.30 in the afternoon, and I still in my PJs. I literally put a bra on for this video. I haven't done anything adult today at all. Oh, well, I made coffee. Adults drink coffee, right? Um, okay, wish me luck. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think I cleaned my room. It's six o'clock. I don't remember when I, oh, I think it was three last time I talked to you. It's now six. <sighs> now, keep in mind, I didn't touch Terry's side. That's his stuff. I don't touch it. I cleaned and I didn't. Yeah, there's this corner is not, hmm, but are you ready? I'm gonna show you my room. Oh my god. Oh my god, I claimed it. So this is all the garbage that I pulled out of here. I have my storage containers there, which I haven't don't know what to do with yet. Uh here's all my molds. In here. All molds. All of them except for at the top, which is some random stuff. 
all my stickers. I just want to point out that you know this is my stickers when it has a section specifically dedicated to Hello Kitty and when it has a section specifically dedicated to owls. That's when you know it's mine. <laughs> and then my work, my nice clean garbage can. I do have to vacuum in here, but all my stirring supplies, all my resin supplies, my little containers I use for mixing, my sprinkles, all my glitter, my rice and molds, my nice clean work surface, I put new wax paper down, um, some more molds, my gloves, my cameo frames and stuff that I kind of have make with extra resin, stuff that needs to kind of be finished, uh, my glitter stash back there, hi, Terry's creeping on me, um, my resin, but I just have to show you, it's been so long, what? Okay. It's been so long since I've used my resin. Look. Look at this. I think this is, unless I'm going to do pure solid colors, I really feel like that's at a loss. Same with this. My, okay. It's not as bad as the other one, but it's still pretty yellow. Um, I have a brand new box of Virotex here, and it's completely clear still. So I might have to just scrap the other resin. What a waste. I got that for like my birthday, I think. Or, like I said, I can use it if it's solid colors. I don't think it'll matter because I think it'll still cure. Um, and then I have my other resin here. Oh my god, yeah. What a mess. Anyway. <laughs> and then I have this desk. This is the desk that I use um, here for clay. So all my clay is in here. I also use it for any beading I need to do. Here's some clay pieces I have baked up here. My oven, uh, my deco sauces. So like this is where, see here are all my finish. My, what is it, findings? Yeah, that's what it's called, uh, my findings. So this is where I would go when I want to finish up a piece, add keychains to them or whatever. I think this is a keychain, yeah. So when I wanna add a keychain to anything, I come over here. And this is like my little section to do my resin, or no, my clay, uh, my deco, and finishing any anything. I love this lamp though. My father-in-law gave it to me. I can like bring it right into my surface if I need to. And there's like a little magnifying glass down here that I can work through. But I love it because it, I can direct it exactly where I need it to be. <sighs> okay, so yeah. Um, I cleaned up this area. That area is like a little bit eh. Um, and then I did this whole area. All my paints are back in here. They're back in their home. Um, all my reusable containers that I keep for God knows whatever I'll use them for. But yeah, oh my God. <sighs> I feel so much better. It's one of those things where, like, you just feel, you feel so much more... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? Ambitious when your room is clean. <laughs> I mean, it's still kind of a mess, but I had so much stuff. I literally had a stack of stickers like this thick that I had bought and never like even brought down here. So I put all those away. Um, it's six. I guess I have to eat dinner and then I might come and play. I kind of have lost my ambition to um, craft right now, but I can just watch a couple resin videos on YouTube and then I'll probably get back into the... Well, I kind of wanted to deco. Like I bought, I bought these little containers and I made a bunch of like, hold on, I'll show you. I made a bunch of like, out of clay, like little baked goods and like biscuits. Like I made these. Um, Cause I wanted to like, I wanted to deco some stuff out. Um, whipped cream, popsicle, chocolate bars right here. I made some of this stuff because I kind of wanted to like deco either um, one of these little jars, like make it like all cute and like sweets, like with sweets on them. Or I have, ugh, I bought a mason jar I kind of wanted to deco, so I might do that. I might. I guess, first things first, I better eat. 
I can't believe this. I just can't believe. I cannot believe I cleaned it. Um, if you want to see a proper tour of my craft room um, from when I use it all the time, then I'll link that video below for you guys to watch. It's, um, I'll warn you, it's a little shaky. I filmed it on my cell phone and it was my first kind of like one of my first major videos and it was it's really shaky. I mean, I, I'm shaky with this too, um, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Um, but if you want to watch that, I'll link that for you guys so you can see what, like, my craft room what was like when it was, like, in its prime. But, I mean, I never really gave up on resin. I just took a break because it's just too hard on me. Um, but I miss it. I miss it every day. I love crafting. I love being creative. I'm so proud of my craft collection. Like, look at this. Like, look at all of this. Like, some people don't have even a space to craft. And I have not only a space, but, like, I have so much stuff. Like, I'm so proud of it, and I've um, built it up over the years, and I've gotten asked for things for my birthday and for Christmas, and my friends and family have helped me, and they're always picking things up for me when they see it, and it's just like, I'm so proud of my collection, I really am. I just wish that resin didn't hate me so much. I look like a hot mess right now, but, um... It's just how it is. It's a Sunday and I was cleaning all day. Not all day, I was cleaning for three hours. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna eat dinner now. Maybe I'll craft later. If I do, I might update you guys. But if not, I hope you're guys having a great Sunday, even though you'll probably not see this on Sunday. And I hope that you enjoy this video.